are back with the Heritage Foundation's Hans von Spakovsky, Mr. Legal Affairs for the Conservative Mothership, former FEC Commissioner. Follow him right now at H. von Spakovsky. So, Hans, you, you are the man who knows um, if, if they've locked out the observers, the poll watchers, if right. they've commingled ballots into massive buckets of other ballots that arrived on time. Nobody knows. There's no paper trail. Right. What, 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 what is the remedy? What is the legal recourse for the Trump campaign? Well, there may not be a remedy unless, unless election officials kept track of the number of ballots that came in past the deadline. You know, if, if the margin, let me just give you a quick example. Look, if the margin of victory in a particular county is 2,000 votes, but the election officials are able to testify or show that 3,000 votes came in after the deadline, well, I think a court could say, well, uh, uh, the outcome in that election in that particular county has been compromised because you accepted illegal ballots even, and there's no way to separate them out. So you might have to rehold, restage an election in that particular county. Wow. And then when we have, I mean, I've received the videos, I forwarded them, the, 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 the internet is flooded with uh, pieces of evidence of ballot workers filling in ballots repeatedly. There are right. people who've done these little uh, home kind of tutorials. Oh, look, here's the register of voters. This person requested a mail-in ballot. Oh, and look, the, the central system says the mail-in ballot was received, filled in, the person voted. We don't know who for that's a secret oh but by the way if you look up their social security uh, database they're dead so <laughs> hans when, when you, dead people are voting what options do you have as as the candidate who wants to contest that result well again if, if you can show that enough uh ballots came in from individuals who the official records show are dead and that uh, affects the margin of victory, well, then again, you can get a remedy from, from a court. Because obviously, if more people who are dead voted, then the uh, margin of victory between the two candidates, again, the, the, the outcome of the election cannot be trusted. Okay, so I thought this was very com very complicated and super confusing. And, and I'm not a lawyer. I took several international law classes at grad school. I loved it, but I'm not a lawyer. And I thought this was incredibly complicated. But talking to you, and I, I trust you as a former uh, uh, FEC commissioner, it seems very simple. This is a question of yeah. statistics. It's a question of if, if, if there's enough regularity, documentable irregularity, right. that it is larger than the margin in the given district that that irregularity occurred in, then that county's or that district's results are subtracted from the whole. Is that, am, I, am I understanding you correctly, Hans? Well, yeah, and you might have to hold a new election. Look, the problem, Sebastian, is that gathering that much information about that many voters in such a small amount of time is extremely difficult and yes. very hard to do. And that's that's the problem faced by the campaign uh, in, in trying to find evidence of uh, substantial problems in the election. What about a, a, a more um, holistic approach? And, and, and again, I, I'm just as a layman asking the question. If a district, if a state, change the way they run their election for this election without the uh, approval or a vote from the state legislature, as the U.S. Constitution demands, is there not a, an argument to be made in front of the Supreme Court then that election in toto is void because it is not the governor, it's not the state secretary, it's not the local precinct captains who decide that you can do early mail-in votes or anything else? Is there a constitutional argument to, make, to be made that the Constitution was not abided by and therefore it is null and void? Yeah, you can make that argument, but, uh, you know, courts are extremely reluctant to overturn election results, even when they have substantial evidence of, of uh, that the election was compromised. And unless you could show that the change in the rule affected enough votes to make a difference in the outcome, I, I just don't think a court, even if you're right on the law, is going to rule in your favor. Even in this case where we saw truly historic and unprecedented use of mail-in ballots and we've never seen 80 million mail-in ballots sent out 
So in this case, we are talking about huge numbers. Well, we are. But again, you've got to show enough uh, uh, ballots, the mail-in ballots were affected by misconduct or mistakes to make a difference in the outcome. And that's the key to it. All right, last question. We have uh, just uh, 50 seconds left with you. This is Hans von Spakovsky of the Heritage Foundation. Join today, heritage.org, the most influential think tank in the world. And they are based, they are founded on the principles of our republic. Um, irrespective of political party, what is the key thing that all Americans should demand right now six days after the election a complete and thorough investigation and airing of all of these issues that arose and all of the questionable conduct by election officials and others to make sure that we really did have a fair and secure election all legal and legitimate votes that's all the president is asking right. and it is so so very telling uh, that on the morning after the election uh, joe biden said count all votes not all legal votes not all legitimate votes but all votes